Yep, it's true. I am going to be leaving America for the first time in my life. I'm going to be going to a little place called the Peens. <laughs> uh, uh, Philip's house. Uh, um, <laughs> the Philippines. <laughs> With my fellow friend, Regina. But honestly, I couldn't be more scared. What if I don't survive the 15 hour plane ride over the ocean? What if I can't speak the language and then I get lost? And everybody I know has warned me. I'm probably gonna get pretty sick from all the bacteria that I'm not used to. Okay guys, I'm definitely getting pretty nervous. Um, big ol' honka honka behind me. So I'm actually going to two countries because the first one is Japan. It's the only way to get to the Philippines, you gotta stop in Japan. Pretty exciting, pretty worrisome. One of the biggest things I was afraid of was, yeah, 15 hours over the ocean in an airplane. I made it on the plane. At least I'm not alone. Somebody's sleeping next to me. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek of who it is. <laughs> I am with Regina. Hello. We're going to the Philippines together. Gosh, I'm not gonna go first time out of the country alone. You need a Filipino with you. Yeah. To make sure nobody picks on me or I get lost or I... This plane makes some crazy noises. Dude, it looks... We make it. It looks old too. Look, the plane's like rotting. <laughs> that is actually scary. <laughs> It's lived a long life, you know? Oh, that means it's gonna die soon. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're up. What was that sound? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at that ocean. Now, one reason why we're going to the Philippines is because Regina's gonna finally reveal who her mom is on video. Daniel will meet my mom for the very first time. Hopefully, if we find her, she's gonna be like, who the heck is that? This airplane was so cool though. Look, there's no shades for the windows, but there's a button that just makes it darker. They gave us a bunch of free food that was delicious. String bean. This is cheese. Cheese nuts. Eye contact is strong. And you could even text random strangers on the plane with your seat number. And that's when catastrophe struck. I think Regina messaged the wrong person. Okay, Regina's really, really embarrassed because she just, I think she wanted to message me in 21B. What did you do? I did 22A. <laughs> and what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Why, why would you have confirmed? My nickname on this is Big B. <laughs> and it says who it's from, too. Who's 22A? He's looking over here. <laughs> About 10 hours into this flight, I was going bonkers. I can't sleep on planes, so my only entertainment was... I keep going to the bathroom. I, I don't mean like, yeah, I, I have a loose butthole. I'm just bored. I didn't know what to do with myself, so I just figured out I would dance. <laughs> look at me, oh my gosh, look at me go. I'm so crazy, this is, uh, wow. The thing with airplane toilets is when you flush them, they're so loud. Finally, land ho! We landed in Japan. Which means I have officially visited my first new country! No, I don't count this because I was only gonna be here for like 15 minutes and it's just an airport. But as I was waiting for my plane to the Philippines, oh my gosh, the Japanese bathrooms. Am I living in the future right now? You know how in the United States, you can like see people and they can see you through the crack? In Japan, you can't see anything. Look, like so if I'm sitting on the toilet right here, nobody can see me. There's, there's no cracks to be seen. And speaking of cracks, when you put your crack on the seat, look at all the options. Oh my gosh. Okay, noted, I won't do that. Easy to understand visuals, okay. And then Regina discovered that the toilet actually plays sounds to like disguise the tinkling sounds. Amazing, so guys, let's play a little game. Can you hear the Regina tinkles? Comment down below. So then we hopped on plane two, and then five hours later, oh, look where we landed. Jeez. I got my first stamp ever. Look, okay, it's about to happen, guys. My first steps outside a different country. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> See? And I'm from Vegas, I'll tell you. It's hot. Wow, they got palm trees here, but they're like fuzzy palm trees. You see that? So, I did it. I officially, no!
No, I did not. I wouldn't say that I have visited another country yet. It's nighttime. I can't even see the country of the Philippines. So Regina and I are gonna rest and wait for tomorrow when I walk out those doors and I see the Philippines for the first time and I will officially be in a new country. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Will you protect me? Strong. <laughs> You gotta just be careful wherever you go, seriously. Oh my gosh, I forgot, I forgot. The whole reason why I'm here. Here, can you hold the camera? Oh, come here, come here. Okay, I wanna make sure that I actually get everything out of this experience of me visiting the first out of country country. What, what? I'm not just gonna say, oh my foot touched the Filipino soil, therefore I visited another country. No, I'm gonna have to do a bunch of stuff in this country in order to reach my goal of, I left America. May I present to you the Philippines playbook? Cuban lips on my neck, tank, freeze, smoking on dope that diesel. Freeze. Oh my gosh. That's horrifying. I think it's still a little wet. <gasps> Daniel! <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Mm -hmm. I guess we gotta even it out. No, Daniel. Daniel! I wrote down a list of a bunch of things that me and you are gonna have to do in this country in order for me to confidently say, I left America. So, the first thing. <laughs> go to sleep so we can wake up. See the friggin' place. So, we gotta go to sleep and we gotta make sure that this entire playbook, we can, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. There's a bunch of things in this playbook that I have to make sure that I accomplish. Or else it's, what's the point of even visiting another country? You know what I mean? So, what do you say we go to sleep? Stop! What? Look at your <gasps> fingers. My shoe is printed on you. See you in the morning. Daniel. I think I need to take another shower. Oh my gosh. It's the next morning. I see some tropicalness. <coughs> Regina, Regina, wake up, wake up. It's time to go outside. Let's step outside and see okay. what the Philippines looks like. Starbucks, American Eagle, Chili's, Texas Roadhouse, Shake Shack. Regina, I thought we were coming to a place with different cuisines, different foods, different cultures, but it just, unfortunately, it looks like we're in the United States. Yeah, there's a lot of American chains here, but there's still so much other foods. We had them all. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is the Philippines, I guess. At least this is the part of the Philippines called Manila. It's like a city. Okay, respect, respect. You see millions of motorcycles. I'm talking millions on the road and they're swerving in and out. They're almost getting hit by cars and stuff. I don't know how they do it. One thing that sticks out to me is like some places in the city, the power lines look insane. There's like millions of them. It really is a sight to behold. It's a chaotic mess, but they know what they're doing, you know? It works. Yeah, so what's crazy is the Philippines can look like this or this. This is this is the same country. Can you believe that? This is quite insane. This looks like I'm in a, a movie or, or a TV show or like I'm in a, a love reality show. Not that we're gonna, you know. Here you go. Oh my gosh, look at this place, guys. Are you kidding me right now? So here's the coins, right? And look how awesome coins look. Look at that. It's like something you get at Disneyland or something. It's so cool. I'm trying to focus. It's not working, is it? It's not my best. That's my father. Your dad's on the Philippine pace? I don't know S who that is. S S look how beautiful and colorful they are. So the playbook says I have to spend Filipino cash. What? Pesos? Yes. And I have to spend it speaking the language. You got this, Daniel. What if I say something wrong, like, please stab me in the heart? <laughs> okay, here's the place I'm gonna spend my uh, pesos. Here it comes. Um, is song scoop? Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to speak Tagalog. Yeah. I'm almost there. What is it? So it's is song scoop, nang. Cape. Yeah. I totally blew it. But now is my chance to redeem myself because at this place, they throw the ice cream to you and you have to catch it. Move back. Oh gosh, I'm scared, man. I want, I, I'm gonna waste money. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Ready? I may have made a fool of myself trying to speak Tagalog, but it was time to show everybody that, hey, at least <laughs> Daniel could play ball. Oh. I mean, I'll still eat it. It's hard to hold it like that. You want to try it? Yeah. I kind of hope you don't, so I don't feel so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, please catch it, Regina. There you go. Yes, sir. I think the only reason why I missed that is because the guy told me to hold it that way. Look at that weird grip. I wouldn't have held it like that. Right. And then it's it, not as good as me. I'm kind of embarrassed, and I can't believe that's on the internet. The guy throwing the ice cream told me to hold the cup like this. It's okay. We all have our failures in life, and I had one of them today. Everyone was filming me, and then when I dropped it, they stopped filming. They laughed. They laughed. The playbook says I have to spot five differences between the United States and the Philippines. The light switches don't go up and down, they go left and right. <laughs> Everywhere you go, the toilet papers have little shields on them. They love Christmas in the Philippines. Oh my goodness. Wow. A Douglas fur. Douglas, I wish you were here. Isn't it true that they start celebrating Christmas in like September? September. The fast food restaurant Jollibee is everywhere. Every single street pretty much has it. At the grocery stores, all the sodas are like smaller than your standard American size. Get <laughs> she didn't even know I was filming. That's just Regina in her truest form. I'm about to try something called balut. Balut. It looks like this. Yes, I'm gonna be eating that right now. It's a delicacy in the Philippines. Ever since I got here, everybody's telling me, you gotta try balut, you gotta try balut. It's a fertilized developing egg embryo. I'm sorry if I'm making a face, but it's just a growing. Sometimes you can see the beak. Yeah, it's a famous Filipino street food, so I'm gonna try to have an open mind. I love all sorts of different foods. I love tasting the different uh, street foods of different countries. Uh, maybe we just cut this part and I don't do it. It's part of the playbook. As we stated in the beginning, thou shalt always respect the playbook. Wow, oh yeah. What do I do? Okay, um, now let's see. Can you get a shot in there? Look, you can see it kind of. You definitely see something in there. So I'm gonna sip the juice yes, of the embryo. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Oh my gosh, Regina. Regina, dude, look at this. Oh, that's cool. Kind of gross. Yeah, kind of gross. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Daniel. What? It's so gross. I didn't, what are, you, why are you yelling at me? Dude, that's it. This feels wrong. Is this even okay for YouTube? It's fine. Welcome to the Philippines. Your hair is in here. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty good. Oh they kind of taste like an egg yeah. with a little bit of pizzazz to it. Ooh. So that's Balut. Now we'll see if I get the runs because I'm not used to eating stuff like that. You did way better than me the first time I had Balut. I like was gagging and stuff. Really? I recommend it. Guys, if you're in the Philippines, you got to try the local Philippine cuisine, Balut. Or, you know, they got McDonald's here too. <laughs> And then look, sometimes there's these really colorful uh, looking wagon buses, and those are called jeepneys. They're a mode of public transportation here in the Philippines. I want to ride one of those because that's what the playbook says. My mommy says not to go on there. She says they know if you're when you're American and stuff like that, and it's kind of hard to communicate with them uh, if you don't know what you're doing. Dangerous. Your mom sounds like that? Yeah. All right, now we just gotta. Okay, we got one, we got one. Where's the world? Pretty, pretty fun. When do I pay the guy? I don't know. 
So cool. It's scary. We're on the busy streets of Manila now. Look at some, another one. So there's no seat belts or anything. Everybody's just kind of holding on for dear life. I seriously don't know what we're doing. This is the first time I feel like I really am in a different country and I kind of feel lost. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> We're gonna get out. That was insane. I don't know where we are. It might seem dumb that the playbook says to go to McDonald's because there's so much good Filipino food here. But the McDonald's here have a bunch of new crazy items. What is a Mc McDo? It's McDo. Look, McSpaghetti. <gasps> what are Shake Shake fries? It has cheese. Oh my gosh, and they have rice here. Give it to me, give it to me, yum, yum, yum. Give it to me, give it to me, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Chicken McDo. McDo. Reveal it. Oh my god, spaghetti with little hot dogs. And cheese. Look, they give you re real silverware. Wow, mine's so much nicer. Bruh. They like sweet spaghetti here. It yeah. tastes like candy. Look, rice. <laughs> Look at that. McDonald's rice. Does it have like a McDonald's specialness to it though? I believe it's just rice. So what's the deal with this? They gave us like a like fry shaker. This looks like just normal french fries, right? Oh, we put them in here. Oh. A McShaker, okay. I guess you put it in there. See, we got all the french fries in there. This is so interesting. Oh. That's a potent. <laughs> oh, wow, it actually is. Look at that, look at that. I said, look at that, are you looking? Shh. There's people here. This is why it's banned in America. <gasps> look at the powder on those bad boys. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of scared. It's just not for me. It's definitely weird AF, but I think I love it. Really? Mm-hmm, that's so good. I wish this was in the United States. American McDonald's French fry. Philippines. <laughs> you have a problem. I'm smiling over here oh. and frowning over here. Okay. I wonder if their chicken nuggets taste different. We should've just got something normal. Chicken nuggets and the booze. <laughs> One thing I noticed about the Philippines is no matter where I go, every single bathroom next to the toilet, there's this hose. Now, what is that hose for? I don't know. <laughs> My theory is that it's for your For your butt. So I brought with me longtime pooping expert, hey. Regina Pena, with over 7,894 bowel movements to her name. I think you can explain that. Well, the, the main thing is you're Filipina. So. It's for your bum hole. Okay, but I do want to figure out how this works because I have been trying to use it. What am I supposed to do? Like, is it, does it touch the toilet? This. So like every time that I use this, there's water all over the place. I've had to like. Oh my god. Clean the side of this. Ew. Not not this, but I was at the hotel earlier. You can sit. Okay. Okay. And it's like oh well, I, I pooped everywhere. <laughs> We have the little bidet. So you stand, you stand up like that? No, I just don't want to sit. So you sit? Honestly, I just wing it. You do it sl ever so slightly, push. You can't even off the <laughs> So it's not, you know, so intense on your butt. Okay, you know, this is too much information. Just cut it, just cut it. I, I do think overall it's a good invention and it's a step up over the American, just like, take some dry toilet paper and shove it up there and then just walk around with swamp butt the rest of the day. Uh, you know, I think we can officially rip out the playbook and say we officially have pooped in the Philippines. I've changed my clothes. I am wet. I fell in the river. Heck, that's not true. Me and Regina are about to see where we will be staying for the night. Um, don't look at them. We are in the island of Palawan. This is not a city. We're gonna be sleeping on top of the water. I feel embarrassed to be screaming so loud as people are vacationing here. This is insane. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. You, see, you know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Regina, give them some privacy. You're pointing at them. Welcome to three, home of Daniel and Regina. Go on in, take a look. Check it out, check it out. What the heck, bro? Oh, brother. Oh 
my gosh. Look at that view. I'm literally view. standing at the top of the water. Look, we can relax over here. It really feels like we're in a reality Love Island show. There's literally nothing stopping me right now from just jumping into the ocean. It's magical. It's just insane. It's just really, really, it's- There's so much to the Philippines I haven't even seen. Check it, check it. That's it. Oh my goodness. That's a telly if I've seen one. I've always dreamed of having a bed with a television ever since I was a little kid right there. Well, I'll tell you right now, this is my bed. Okay. Oh, where am I? You're sleeping out there with the fishes. It's such a big bed. We don't even need a touch. <laughs> Okay. Show them your excitement. Do it all day. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh my God, look at that crazy looking bird. My sister Kimberly would know what that is. Isn't this just a hoot and a holler? This is the best thing ever. That means that I have officially checked off all of the boxes on my Philippines playbook. <gasps> what? Or have I? Rhea, make sure nobody takes my spot. I'll be right back. <sighs> We have checked off everything in the Philippines playbook until you look a little closer. You don't see anything, do you? No. You looking? I'm looking. <gasps> squeal, girl, squeal. <laughs> we have neighbors. There's no one there. Oh. There are people there. We haven't met your mom yet. I mean, you met your mom before, but I haven't met your mom, and the viewers at home haven't met your mom yet. We're on a mission to go find her on this island. On Regina's channel, the Regina and Daniela channel, we are gonna go find Regina's mom. Put her in a video for the first time ever. I'm gonna surprise my mommy. I'm super excited. Oh, what if she hates me? Ah, uh, impossible. What do you say we sing an outro? Okay. I can't do it, you do it. I love my mother. My mother loves me. Together we make one big happy Filipino family. And you. You guys will see it all tomorrow. Love you all. Bye. Oh. Oh.